Hi guys, just wanted to cover this Invoxia voice bridge uh, uh, very quickly today. I've been using it for the past two and a, and a bit months and uh, the reviews on Amazon are quite mixed and I was unsure whether to buy this or not. I don't like using answer phones at home uh, and I don't particularly want people ringing my mobile number unless I know who they are so it doesn't get uh, given out. Now uh, this seemed to cover uh, what I wanted to do which is see who's ringing me on the landline number uh, on my mobile. So it's a small box, you connect it to your network at home, you connect it uh, with the power supply here and then you connect it to your phone uh, with the supplied cables and double adapter. So in my case I think we've got a Panasonic uh, cordless phone and I pulled the phone line out of the back of it, plugged in the double adapter and then plugged this in and the uh, line to the BT socket and that is pretty much it. Uh, that will then power up and you then run the app and uh, there's various uh, settings and that you can register to this base uh, once you've done that. When anyone rings your home number within a second or two your mobile will uh, ring and show you that call and uh, you can answer it or decline it uh, or decline to answer it on the mobile. If you're at home uh, you can answer it on your normal landline but this will still flash up telling you that somebody's ringing. Um, when you're out, as long as you have a Wi-Fi signal or indeed a uh, mobile uh, internet connection, uh, this will ring. A lot of people have had problems uh, with this um, not working correctly or not working at all and I suspect the reasons for that are the battery optimization settings on the phone. The first couple of days I had this uh, I also had the issue of it not working properly or not working at all. I had to keep starting it up, it would go off again. Eventually I realised what was going on and it's just overzealous battery management settings in the phone. So there are some settings in the app. Um, one of them is the base settings, uh, on the go settings, there's various things you can uh, turn on. So you, you, on the go you want it turned on, uh, enable for your Android, uh, you want that turned on. And another one you want turned on especially is always on, so you want that uh, turned on as well. Uh, go into your battery management settings and make sure this app is not turned off uh, by the phone's software. I suspect 90% uh, of the problems with the reviewers on Amazon have not realised that. And uh, when it is working you will get a little notification symbol in the top there saying the voice bridge is uh, connected and uh, if as long as you've got that up there I have found over the past few months that it has worked perfectly uh, no issues at all call clarity is very good I have used it uh, on the home Wi-Fi I've used it on other people's Wi-Fi and we've used it also use it on the cellular uh, data uh, connection uh, with no issues at all. Sometimes the uh, sound will sound slightly different to a normal landline but it's kind of what you would uh, expect and it's perfectly acceptable, uh, you know, no problems uh, whatsoever. Uh, the other really interesting thing is if you are using the app and you're out uh, and about, again as long as you've got the correct data connection you can actually use your mobile or tablet device to access your home phone and dial out using your home number. Now, on, in our case, our number is withheld permanently, but if you want, if you didn't have that feature switched on and you wanted to call somebody uh, you know and uh, have your caller ID come up in their phone's display, you can use your mobile through this and it will use your landline to dial out. Very clever, and obviously with call plans, you're not paying for that landline call uh, either. Um, if you're at home or in fact anywhere else and uh, somebody else answers the phone at home uh, after this has rung, you do have the option on this to actually join that call. So if uh, somebody's on the, the phone at home and you've had the notification here and you're somewhere else, you can actually ask to join that uh, conversation and you have a three-way conversation with whoever's on the phone. So I, I think it's really, really useful. Uh, I use it all the time. 
I can uh, choose whether to answer the calls if it flashes up that it's somebody on my um, contact list I can answer it if it's anybody else I can just click dismiss and it stops ringing uh, the only thing that it will not do is uh, if you've got your phone paired to your car's um, sat nav or whatever system you've got for taking calls in the car the app will not allow you to take calls uh, in the car it will not automatically ring it's a uh, you know the app is just not capable of that and it's a it's a small shortfall i think but one i'm prepared to put up with uh, really maybe they'll sort that out at some point make it uh, connectable to your car system uh, and maybe it's just physically not possible you know to program it to do that it's not a problem for me uh, anyone uh, ringing my mobile number that will obviously be connecting to the car no problem if it's one of these uh, voice bridge calls from the landline it won't but it's really not an issue um, so yeah that was it really I have found it uh, very useful I think on Amazon it is 89.99 the reviews have gone up slightly higher um, in the last couple of months it was sort of 50 50 rating when I purchased it but I think a few more people have realized how good this is and come to the same conclusion with the battery op optimization features uh, that it is uh, it does work uh, very well uh, so yeah I think it was well worth it uh, if you don't like answer machines like me uh, it's a really really good device so yeah I hope that helps that's the Invoxia voice bridge